apology for using abusive language against BJP, AAP and Mr. Anna Hazare ji as I was misguided by some miscreants. On this very auspicious occasion, my best wishes to you and your party. This is truly my moral responsibility to inform and reveal a truth that was happening under my consciousness, a very unpleasant thing. And to introduce, I like to say, I have neither any relation with any organization, political party, nor have I ever spoken abusive language to any political party or any leader. I never had a fight with anyone in my entire life, but to your notice, some people came for conversion. I very politely refused them. And after a few years, in 2014, my last art exhibition, which was held in the Habitat Center, and before that, I lost my job. For approximately two years, I was struggling for a job, even though I am a pass out of NIF New Delhi. I was dejected and frustrated. I was not able to understand the reason. Then, after a long time, I got a job. I started doing that job with full attention. Then, afterwards, I started receiving threats from all kinds of miscreants. And those miscreants were from my office, my neighborhood, and from other states where I visited for my holiday. They were indirectly threatening me and they were using bad language for my entire family. I got depressed. I consulted a doctor. The prescription is attached in the video. It continued for a year or little more. I was jobless for two years. I was afraid of leaving this job. So I continued my job. And those who were giving threats were indirectly trying to say they were from BJP. Now, I have noticed these persons, some of them I know as I was living in this area sunlight colony for long. It lasted for a year or so. And then afterwards, everything was all right. Then I had that curiosity to discover who these people are. So in front of them, I used some abusive and filthy words for BJP, which was against my true nature. I noticed these people are very happy to hear such words for BJP as if their intention was done. I realized it was not BJP. I kept myself silent for some time that they should not get any hint of my intention. Then I had the doubt about AAP party. So during Lok Sabha election, my target was AAP party. Someone from a call center called for election forecast. I used some abusive language for AAP party and Mr. Anna Hazareji. And all this was happening in front of my office staff. And I was noticing their reaction. Even this time, no reaction from them. Then next day, I received a call from AAP worker. I used the same abusive language to provoke him, but I was really amazed to see his behavior. He was very humble and polite to me. I continued my bad words, but he was very silent. I was also looking at the reaction of my office staffs. Nothing happening. My life was very normal. During this entire process, I was reading the Vedas. I was reading the Upanishads. I was reading the Bhagavad Gita thousands of times. In 2018, I had the vision of Sri Ramakrishna, Swami Vivekananda, Ma Anandamai, Sri Aurobindo, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj and many great saints. I was privileged to see and touch their subtle body in dream and in waking state. It was a wonderful experience for me. One day in the Iskon temple, by the grace of Lord Sri Ram, I had the vision of the formless. I heard the voice of Lord Sri Krishna echoing from all directions, You are eternal. You are Sanatan. You are eternal. I heard the Anahatna. From all directions, the flute of Sri Krishna, I realized that oneness, Ek Omkar. I had that vision. I received the grace of the ultimate. I realized my true nature. I am Sanatan. As if my human gold is achieved. Now, I can say, there are only three dharmas. Rashtra Dharma, nationalism, even though it is futile. Compassion, the Dharma of love. Sanatan Dharma, the eternal truth. And in it hides my own Dharma, Swadharma. Now the only thing I desire is peace and prosperity of the entire human race. I have no evil intention even for them who had disrupted my peace. It was all the Leela of my Lord. But somehow I had the desire to end the story. I provoked the third one. I think you understand. I don't want to take their name now. During the Delhi Vidhan Sabha election, I provoked the third political party. And 
they reacted the same way same threat from same people from office as well as from outside i visited the same place masuri i got my answer it was a third political party and their workers and a big thanks to them also for helping me to achieve the highest humor from the very core of my heart i beg apology for all my abuses and fill the words that i have spoken to bjp aam aadmi party and to anna hazare ji i am really ashamed i was never a person to disregard or disrespect someone i will be never like that i say sorry to all of you for all my useless words that i never meant for you it was only to discover the truth my best wishes to all my beloved friends of bjp aap worker and mr anna hazare ji and my sincere apology i am sorry for my abusive words and i have full faith on you that you will forgive me on this very great day may the nation prosper at its highest by all your efforts beyond all caste and creed and religion the nation must grow to the highest spirituality and prosperity and may be in future i will be reexhibiting and displaying my art again for that i need your blessings i truly love you all thank you my regards and apology joy devdas